Before the film starts, if you are from another country, we have audio tracks for most countries. It makes it easier for you to watch videos. Before we start, do you know how a car turns? The answer is it needs a differential, but there's no differential in the kit. So how do we make it turn? If you connect the wheels with an axle, you'll find it can't turn. If you split the axle, it can turn. And there are three ways to rotate. So let's start with the first basic module. The first step in dual wheel control is to pay attention to the ports you connect to. For example, I connected the motors to ports E and F, but E plus F and F plus E produce different results. You can test it with a straight moving command. If it moves straight, that's fine. In the video, my wheels turn backward, so you need to reverse the motor settings. For example, I adjusted it to F plus E. Success! Next is another command, the conditional stop command. The smaller the number, the shorter the forward distance, and the more precise the control, meaning you have more details to adjust. It seems the accuracy is degree, sem, inch, rotation, second. Next is turning. Adjust the turning direction. After starting, one wheel moves forward and the other moves backward. The two commands shown in the video will have the same rotation method. Since it's a race car, of course, we need to test the car's speed. If you set the speed to 100, how fast will it go? <coughs> Not fast enough. So make some adjustments. Use the acceleration gear set to see if it can go faster. It's about 3.5 seconds faster. Success! Let your race car travel a square or rectangular route. Give it a try yourself. Here, you'll notice a pattern. You can try using the loop function to repeat the repetitive content, making the program shorter. I also kept trying and trying, fixing things from mistakes. You'll find it rotates too much or too little, moves too much or too little. It's okay, we keep fixing it, and we'll succeed. Don't give up.
If you're interested in the instructions, feel free to check out the link below the video to place an order. Thank you. The next model is a more advanced version with an extra motor to control the front wheels turning. A hood that can open, doors that can open, and more detailed designs. This time, the function I want to introduce is remote control. Only the Mindstorms robot inventor can use this function. Control it as shown in the video, just like having your own remote control race car. How is it done? First, set up which port the control motor is installed in. My large motor is installed in port A. The dual motors for movement are installed in port C plus D. Next, on the right side, there's an option to select remote control. Choose the joystick that can move up, down, left, and right. At this point, the left menu will add a remote control function menu. Then select the correct movement direction based on the button options above. Finally, remember to set it so that when no buttons are pressed, both motors stop. Otherwise, the wheels or front wheels will keep turning, causing it to go out of control. Which version do you like better? Please leave a comment below the video to let me know.